The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong support of the negotiated appropriations package. Today is zero hour. We're out of time. Today's vote may be the most consequential of your lifetime. Right now, our troops around the world are facing multiple threats. Our supremacy on land, sea, air, and space is being challenged, and our allies are under attack. I could go through a long list of vital programs and funding included in this bill. The wins for our troops, the historic funding for innovation and counter-drug activities, the focus on countering China. The time is short, and the stakes have never been higher. For the members who are considering voting against the bill due to objections and other titles, and are under the impression that this bill uh, fails, will have another chance to vote for a full year defense bill, I want to be very clear. This is it. Every member must understand the impact of not passing this package. The only other option will be a full year continuing resolution, which will devastate our national security and put our country at risk. A CR will cut defense spending by $27 billion and trigger additional cuts from sequestration. This is something that has not happened in the history of this country and will cut our military off at the knees in the midst of the most dangerous period we have seen since World War II. A CR maintains policies negotiated by the last Congress, eliminates all member priorities from the bill, gives the Biden administration the freedom to shift in appropriations as they see fit. Simply put, we will cede all congressional authority and oversight on spending to the Biden administration. A CR would be an abdication of our responsibility and to our military and to this body. A no vote is a vote for China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, and Hamas. A vote yes for our men and women in uniform and for all Americans and for our country. I yield back. Daniels, gentlewoman from